Well, let's talk about whether yes advocates have gone too far. There's been some horrible language and personal attacks, and one of them came the other day, last week actually, from Noel Pearson, and he was discussing the issue of how people prove their indigeneity for the purposes of The Voice, and he singled you out and said this. Have a look. You know, I first heard the opposition spokesman Julian Lisa say that, Anna, and I was just completely confounded by it because I'm wondering whether Julian expects us to wear a tattoo identifying ourselves as Indigenous. Is that what he's saying? Or that our clothes should be adorned with some kind of badge identifying us as Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islander? I think it's a completely dangerous idea and suggestion and extremely offensive. It's an extraordinary analogy for anyone to use any time, but especially given that you're Jewish. Uh, what's your response to Noel Pearson's claims there? I was very disappointed in Noel's claims. Um, he made those remarks um, during Passover. In fact, the time he was making those remarks, I was taking my son to the synagogue. That's not the sort of debate we should be conducting. I think it's important that those people who are advocating yes do understand the concerns and queries of people who doubt. And that's certainly how I'll be um, conducting myself in this referendum campaign. You say you want the Liberal Party to succeed and win government and Peter Dutton to be Prime Absolutely. Minister. How will the Liberal Party and the Coalition be able to do that if this referendum passes, as you want it to pass, against their wishes? They're campaigning no. Won't the Coalition be in an awful position politically if the referendum succeeds? No, this is, this is one issue. And I think uh, if the referendum succeeds, I'm sure that the coalition will play a constructive role in the legislative process for the establishment of the national voice body. Uh, we always respect the verdict of the Australian people. Um, I'm trying to find a way that we can get to common ground over the next period so more Australians will look to support the referendum as I do. Do you think the referendum will succeed? Look, I want it to succeed. I do think the numbers are too weak at this stage and I think the government has to move on its amendments and that's why I'm proposing the Press Club model. Julian Lisa, thanks for joining us. Thank you, Chris. It's going to be a complicated and testy debate for the next six months, but the beauty is, uh, in the end, it's just uh, you and me, all of us in the privacy of the uh, voting booth, uh, we get to uh, make the decision in the end. We'll see how it all goes, hey?